Hi everyone, I'm Sarah or Childhood Finds if you haven't joined me here before. Today we're embarking on another saga of videos. I am going to start doing puzzle ones. I love doing my cookbook ones so much, which I probably will continue to do a cookbook one in the future, but I wanted to do puzzles for right now. And I think this is gonna be fun. So this one is gonna be brand specific. And this one's kind of, I like this one because it's a little bit shrouded in mystery, at least to me. I can't figure out why these puzzles are suddenly selling for so much. And I'm not kidding when I say kind of suddenly. I will show some trends and you're probably curious what brand it is. It's White Mountain Puzzles. I sold one myself and that is a big reason that I started to look into these puzzles. I knew that they were good puzzles and I looked for them, but I didn't know that they could be this good, especially used ones. And so these are gonna be some big money ones that you can look for. And I mean, I'll give you some theories of why I think they might sell for a fair amount, but I don't know. If you have ideas or thoughts, maybe it's super obvious and I'm missing it, please put them in the comments um, because it's it's interesting. I noticed a trend that early 2022, all of these puzzles became, all these puzzles I'm showing you became valuable. So I didn't check all the trends, but I noticed the ones I looked at, they became valuable. They went from 20 to $30 puzzles to 100 $200 puzzles. It's a wild ride, guys. So thank you for joining me for this one. I can't wait to show you these. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my sidekick here. Dudley the Basset Hound is in the coveted seat today. So let's get started. I have 11 to show you. Keep in mind, there's many more. I only picked 11 so that I didn't do a 50 minute video. And, but there's many, many more. So I, I urge you to check on your own as well for more. All right, so let's get started with some puzzles. And first, before we start with the puzzle, I wanna show you one theory of why I think these might be valuable. I don't feel this is an accurate theory though, because it, the timeline doesn't quite match up. So this is, I went onto YouTube and I just typed in White Mountain Puzzle. And I found a person that has a YouTube dedicated to puzzling and she has 87,000 views on this and it says my favorite type of puzzle spoiler alert it's white mountain puzzle and i mean the timeline doesn't quite match up though so this i i can't remember exactly what year this one started but it was in it, it was 2021 early 2021 and these really started to become valuable 2022 so I don't know. So let's just keep, let's look at some puzzles. And if you have some theories, I would love to hear them. So this one we're gonna first start with, this one does not have any recent sold. So if you see all my, um, my cookbook videos, I really like to show you the trends in price. And then I like to show you an up close to show you it also is selling recently, but this one didn't have any recent ones. So the most recent was December of 2022. So it's been a while since this puzzle showed to market, but I still wanted to show you this one because this appears to be the most valuable of the White Mountain puzzles for right now. And this is going to be the Zodiac puzzle and it's a thousand piece. Let's just see, we can look up close slightly to it. So I'm gonna say the box is super cool. I get it, box is cool. But I mean, it's still hard to imagine this is a $400 puzzle. Um, but this one, it says it was made in 2001. So it is technically vintage, we're over 20 years. So it's technically a vintage puzzle, um, but I would keep your eye out for this. You know, I tend to look at all white mountains especially now after I found a big money one but it's it's gonna surprise you some of the ones that are selling for good money so you can just see let me show you the trend here it is March 2022 we've got the big money one selling and it continued this price trend over time 
But look at that. Before that, this puzzle was a $20 puzzle. We don't know why. Um, so let's look at some other ones. This is going to be White Mountain Placid Waters. This one's pretty cool too. Um, let me see. I think, so what I also tried, another trend I tried to find, I tried to find if they came out during certain years. So Zodiac was 2001. So it's a little older. Okay. Maybe that's it. No, that's not why. It's a, the Placid Waters sells for about two to 300. And all the, all the ones that have sold here are used. So meaning they are not sealed. Um, and that one is a 2010 puzzle. So let's look at the one I, let's look at this. So you can see here, we have a really big money one here at 320 that sold in February. But then we have another March one that sold in 2023. So that's something, these are both auctions. So auctions can be very good. I always urge you if you do them to start at the lowest you would take. I do auctions very rarely because they are stressful to me. Um, so, but you can see this one, this one that sold for 320 just happened to take off and got 35 bids and got up to 320. This one that did a auction in March only got up to 213. So it just, it depends who's battling on your puzzle. How bad do they want it in that auction? I put mine as a buy it now that I'll show you in a bit because again, I find auctions kind of stressful. Um, but I, I'm still happy with what mine sold for. But let's look at this one up close. Here it is. It's nothing super special. We got some birds. It, it almost, it, it's an awkward looking picture. It's like they took stickers and just slapped them on a rainforest picture. So it's interesting, but it sold. This one, this is the one that sold for $213.50. So, and this one was used. And so this person put that puzzle together. That is why I love reselling because this person doing this puzzle was like, this is my job. I've got to put this puzzle together so I can sell it. How many jobs are there besides being a puzzle YouTuber where you can say, I had to put a puzzle together, a thousand piece puzzle together so I could sell it. <laughs> so that it, it, I don't know. It's an interesting looking puzzle. It's nothing special to me. So let's go on to our next ones. This is going to be mine. So this is going to be Lucky Strike Bowling Puzzle. I remember I bought this for 99 cents at Salvation Army. I threw it in my bags when I came home. Um, I didn't think anything of it because most puzzles are $12 roughly, give or take some money. And I got home and I, I mean, come on. This is, mine was sealed, which was awesome. Um, but you can see, so I could have got a little more for mine, but I am very happy with what I got. I, so why I know this is a real thing and why people want these, I was watching mine, so it sold in a day. I was watching it and my watchers climbed. My watchers climbed so fast on that. I was up to 19 watchers by the, by the time this one sold. And that was just within a day. So these are desirable. So this is the thing, guys. So if this trend suddenly gives out, don't get mad at me if you went and bought stock in White Mountain Puzzles. But I'm just saying for right now, it is hot. Not all White Mountain Puzzles. Look them up. There's still the usual cheaper ones as well. Um, so this one's got a better trend. So this one, 20, late 2021, wait, no. The, yeah, late 2021, we're looking at $45. Early 2022, we're looking at 70s. So this one had, was a little bit higher in the desirability category before the big jump. And this big jump happened in August of 2022 to 162. So again, 2022 seems to be where the mysterious Big Bang happened in White Mountain Puzzles. Let me show you this one up close. I'll show you my listing. 
So this is the one that sold for $150. It was sealed, but I put reed because there was a little bit of, it, was a, it looked a little dirty. So there is these little spots where it seemed like there was dirt on it. So I just wanted people to be aware in case they are collecting these and they aren't gonna open them, that it is not pristine. But this one is, this one's from 2010. So it's the same as our last one, but I don't see a trend. Next we've got Balloon Festival. This one doesn't have a lot of high solds, but I'm showing you it because the highest sold in March 20 or March 25th, 2023. So just less than two months ago from this date that I'm filming, it sold for $173.50 via auction and it has positive feedback left for it. Also, look at these bids. This got 50 bids on that auction. That is a hot auction and it sold for $173.50. So these are flying. They're flying off the shelves. And again, we see coming towards 2022, we started to see price increases but not as much because this one didn't come to market, it seems as much. But you see here in July of 2021, it sold for $11. So let's look at this guy up close. So here it is, Balloon Festival. This one is new. So of course that will play to it. But I, you know, it, as long as you put them together, you can still get a very good price and I like puzzles, so I wouldn't mind having to put them together, but some people might find that just terrible. Not me. So here it is, $173.50. Next one we have is White Mountain Frogs Gone Wild. Again, thousand piece. I think they're all thousand pieces I'm showing you. And let's look at the trend here. There it is. There's the jump. This one look, wow. One sold for $10 there. I don't think this one came to market as much. Yeah, so this one hasn't been on the market quite as much, but May 30th, 2021, we are seeing, oh, they sold in a lot of two puzzles and they sold it for $16. Wow. And then here's one in June of 2021 on auction, only got eight bids and it sold for $20. This is crazy to me. This is a delightful video for me. I love seeing this. But you can see that now we've got at least three sold in the 100 to 150 category. And this one, you can see it says complete, which means that it's probably opened. So used, used puzzles. There's not a lot of used puzzles that are going to be selling for big money. There are going to be in future videos. I'll show you some more, but Keep your eye out for these guys. So let's look at this one up close. Here it is. This is Froggy's Gone Wild. As you can see, they are truly going wild. This is so interesting to me, these puzzles. This looks like any other Froggy puzzle, but they are good quality. Like I enjoy these puzzles, so I get that aspect. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is White Mountain Spice Rack. Yeah, just a spice rack, guys. And this one, I again showed you it. It's over 100. The last sold is over 100. And yes, it's the top of the pricing, but they got positive feedback again. Oh, and let me see. Frogs Gone Wild was a 2007 puzzle. And Balloon Festival was a 2011 puzzle. I don't know if this helps to tell you, but I think it's interesting that these aren't even vintage puzzles and they're selling for big money. So yeah, Froggy's Gone, or no, not we're off Froggy's Gone Wild. We're on Spice Rack. So yes, the $117.50 got positive feedback and it was made in 2014. So let's look at the trend again. There it is. You can see some others have sold as well, 85, 75. I do see retired. It's possible that these are just retired ones that aren't continuing to be reproduced and that is why they are so valuable. 
but why is 2022 the golden year of suddenly retired white mountain puzzles are flying off the shelves? I don't know. So you can still see these are good, good prices. I mean, $70 even for a used puzzle. I would totally just do that puzzle to make 70 bucks if it was used to put it together. Oh, and I meant to tell you on the Lucky Strike one, so the bowling one I sold, there's actually one a little further down. Let me see if I can find it. Let me show you up close here. Okay, so let's look at this. Do you see this one? It has a missing piece, guys. They literally say missing piece and it sold for $72. That is super cool. I will say, I have to tell you an anecdote because I do enjoy puzzles and of course pandemic time. I did puzzles with my mother-in-law because we were inside and she was an art, she's an artist and so she actually made puzzle pieces because we did a 3000 piece puzzle and we lost two or three and that's so depressing. And she created the puzzle pieces. I thought that was the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. And it looks exactly like it. You could not pick out where those puzzle pieces are if you were just looking at this puzzle and didn't know. Super duper cool. So if you guys are arty, you can make your own puzzle pieces and fix them if you lose the piece. So I don't remember where we were. Spice rack. So let's look at spice rack up close. There it is guys. It's a spice rack. $117 and I probably have said this 12 times because I'm a little back and forth in this video, but positive feedback was received. Next one, white mountain puzzle when life gives you lemons. So this one's a little interesting too. So I noticed this one that sold for big money. It got positive feedback and it is different than other ones that are selling for less. So what I am seeing is the newer ones, it looks like it was re-released in 2023. Those ones were selling for around 60. Let me show you. So down, down, way down here, I saw what, that I could look at these ones and these are 2023 puzzles, but they're still selling for $60, but it says on there, it says um, now with larger pieces and a bonus poster inside because everybody wants to have this as a poster. And here you can tell this does not have that. So this one's definitely older, but I could not find a date on it. The pictures weren't, didn't show it. So I don't know when this one is done from, I don't know when this one originally released but this one was 165 and it got positive feedback. But see, we're still seeing over hundreds here for this puzzle. This is a, and this is a frequently selling one. This one's been more available than the others. So really good pricing. And this one started December, 2021. We've got up to 89. So good pricing on that puzzle. Let's look at that one up close and there it is and this one is used it does bother me they don't have a picture of it complete i feel like that's a little shady because if a buyer complained they were missing a piece the seller could just say well you lost it I, it bothers me a little that they don't have a picture of it complete i get not wanting to put it together but it bothers me slightly because if you're a puzzler, you know it's super easy to lose them. Especially, I grew up with cats. My four kitty cats, they loved to take puzzle pieces. They found it the most epic fun they've ever had. So it's very easy to lose them. So I would never, I'd never go to a yard sale and then take a person's word for it that it was complete. Just because it, you don't know what that puzzle has gone through in its life. And this next one, we're looking at Peace and Love. So this one is a 2013. And we're seeing, we have one here that just sold in February, 2023. It got 37 bids, sold for $227. And I do try to always check that these aren't being relisted in people's stores because that's the other issue with auctions 
is after four days, you might have to cancel it if the buyer has not paid. And I found when I was doing auctions in the beginning of my eBay career, that happened constantly, absolutely constantly that people would not pay. So that's another reason I don't love auctions, but I absolutely see the value and benefit of them for the people that like doing them. And you can see, I absolutely, I would absolutely price this the one to $200. And see this one's holding, this one started going up in value earlier. So it could have been, it could have been that YouTubers puzzle video that did this, that made these start to become valuable and collectible and desirable. Because I found that when I looked at buyers' feedbacks, all the buyers were saying, this is one I've been searching for. This is, you know, like my white whale. It's people are, these are hot, hot items that people are constantly searching for. So let's look at peace and love up close. This one's pretty cool. This one's pretty fun. And this is the $161. Let me see. Yes, positive feedback on this one. And the seller did a lot of pictures, but no, it looks, it, it looks like a fun puzzle. Like I would enjoy doing this puzzle as well, but it, it was done in 2020 or 2013 sold for 161. This one next one we've got is come fly with me. And you can see here, we're looking at 150 to $200 in our kind of trend. So the most recent sale was $212.50 in March, 2023. So from the filming of this YouTube video, that was less than two months ago. So really great price for that. And I don't have that there was positive feedback, but there's enough here that I'm confident, pretty confident this is the real deal. Let's look at this one up close. There it is, airplane based. Very, I mean, also very cute. It's a very cute puzzle. But as a cheap human, I would never pay this much for this puzzle. I think as a reseller, I've become, I'm not capable of paying full price for things I collect. If I don't find it for cheap in the wild, I don't want it. It's not worth it to me. So I think it's, it's a different mentality, but I get, the things you love, you'll pay up for them. Everybody has their thing. Next one we're looking at is Confessions of a Desperate Housewife. This one sold in 2022, the highest price, 42 bids, and it got up to $305. Pre-owned. This is not sealed, guys. Pre-owned puzzle. And let me see if I had, this one was made in 2010. So again, pretty recent. And I know, I know that the pandemic brought on a desire for puzzles and games and things that could be done inside. But why is the price going high in 2022? Um, but we saw some others in 2021 were also going high. So I think maybe it's a culmination of things. It's going to be the YouTube video, the YouTuber saying they love them. Probably the pandemic, people fell in love with the puzzles. That could be people fell in love with the brand during 2020 and now ha are trying to collect them. That could be, that's a good one I didn't think of. So I can't look at this one. I can't tell if it got positive feedback. So I can't tell you for sure that this is a good sale at 305, but we're still seeing these other ones at a hundred. So I don't know. I maybe would put it on auction, but I'd probably just put it in the middle ground. I'd probably put it at 200 at a fixed price and have best offers accepted. Maybe, maybe a little higher. So you could put it on auction though. You could put it on auction for 150 and just rumble through and see if you get some bids. Um, because also look, this one was a fixed price at 75 and it was in a, it was less than a month ago, April, 2023 and it's complete. And they absolutely, I absolutely guarantee they could have got more for this. So, and that happened too with another one in March, 2023. So yeah, they could have probably gotten more, but they were probably happy with that profit they got from it. 
and made a buyer happy. So let's go ahead and look at this Confessions of a Desperate Housewife up close. There it is. Exactly what they say it is. Lots of pictures and they do show it complete for you. So used puzzle for $112 that was made in 2010. We're gonna look at our last one here. This is Heron and Friends, Blue Heron and Friends. So I do love the animal based ones. So this one didn't have any sold here. So this one probably is a more scarce one to find because this one was made in 2008 and positive feedback was left for Confessions of a Desperate Housewife as well and for this one. But here's the ones that have sold and I would absolutely put this over at 200 because you're seeing these three. So one in April or two in April of 2023 sold for $199. And we had one in November of 2022 for 190. So there it is up close. This one says it's used and there they show it put together as well. And why does this one say winning bid is 10? I looked at, no. That one says 199. I don't know why it's doing that friends. Um, but I know it wasn't 10 because there's no 10s available and I double checked these because these are, when you look on Terapeak, these are actual sold. So sometimes you'll see crosses through prices. These are actual sold. So I don't know. Interesting. I think that was a hundred dollar one, but there they are guys. There's 11 different things, 11 different white mountain puzzles to look for. Look at the others though. Keep looking at the others because there's more than I showed you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If, um, put down your favorite puzzle below, or if you have another brand you really like, put that down below. I'm not real picky on brands when I do puzzles. I tend to go by pictures, honestly, but I do like White Mountain. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and want to keep seeing these videos. Like, um, and just join me for the next one. Bye guys.